Hey y'all, welcome to the Style Chronicles. I thought I would share my March favorites with you guys. It is a little bit um, into April, a little further into April than I had hoped. I had planned on getting this up around the 4th or the 5th, um, but I've been sick. I have a little throat infection, so it's really been uh, bothering me. Um, it feels more like in my throat and my ears. My ears really, really bother uh, me a lot. So I've just been taking a lot of Advil and um, keeping up with my allergy medications and all that stuff. But anyway, let me move on with what my favorites for the month were. I will start with a conditioner shampoo that I have been using since around Christmas time. Um, I tend to cycle my shampoos and conditioners. I don't like to use the same ones, you know, twice in a row. Um, I will come back and use them again, like, you know, the next time, but every other, you know, time I'll switch. So this was sent to me in the Pop Sugar box that I subscribed to. I want to say it was October or November's box, but they were the um, Clear Scalp and Hair Therapy Total Care Shampoo and Conditioner. They smell so good. They smell like something you would wash your clothing in, like laundry detergent, just really clean, really, really clean. And I have to tell you that I suffer from dandruff every winter and when I'm pregnant. When I'm pregnant, it is ridiculous. Um, I have very, I don't know why, I have very oily face, and I know I have very oily hair, but I have, I get dandruff. So um, it's not necessarily because I'm dry. I know most people think dandruff is just because you're dry. Sometimes it can be an overproduction of your oil sebum or sebum that you get and that can increase the, the dandruff rate. So I suffer from that every winter, and like I said, when I'm pregnant. So um, every winter I'm scrambling to find some sort of dandruff shampoo, and usually it's, you know, sell some blue, just your typical ones. And this winter I used this, and I did not get dandruff at all, like at all. It was the first year that I have not suffered from it at all. Um, and it's, you know, it was great because it, it's embarrassing. Um, and then it's, you know, people just think you're dirty. I mean, you feel dirty. It, it's just weird, um, and you, you guys know I am the biggest neat freak. But anyway, um, it's just that feeling of, you know, you know you've got that and you hope people aren't looking or you hope you don't have flakes that day. I mean, it's just crazy. So it's it's insecurities. Um, but this stuff, I, I can't even really tell you if it was this, but I feel like it did have a lot to do with it. Um, we really did not have a very strong winter this year here in Houston, so I'm not sure if that went hand in hand with it, but honestly, I really do love these, um, the shampoo and conditioner. And I also, I use it on my children. I have switched from using baby shampoo to just using regular shampoo and conditioner because both of them have, um, my daughter has not, not as much my texture. My son has my texture hair where it's kind of curly and frizzy. And so I have to use conditioner on his hair or it just frizzes out. So the same thing with her, I use it, it makes it easier to comb her hair. So really like these. Um, I would say try them, I think they're great. I plan on trying them again. Right now I'm using a Tresemme one and that was only because I didn't want to reuse these again. Um, I'm taking a break from those. It took me literally like since Christmas, probably December, I don't know, around the 28th to start using that and it's just taken me that long to use them. So there's that. One more hair thing is the Paul Mitchell Kids Taming Spray. Um, I use this as their detangler. It's the best thing for me because I can't get them to sit still, and when I do, they're screaming about their knots. So my son with his curly hair, I have to brush it every day, so this really does work. And then I use the Sonia Kashuk, or Kashuk hairbrush. It's um, the natural board bristle. It's got like a plastic bristle that runs through it, but it's the best thing uh, as far as not pulling their hair or not being too rough. So that's what I use on them, and they absolutely, no complaints. Okay, next up, I've had a lot of questions this month about my teeth whitening system that I got from my dentist. And I will tell you, this was given to me by my actual dentist. It was not something that I purchased, or let me get a napkin really quick. Um, it was not something that I purchased or, you know, acquired off of eBay or anything. Um, it is, this whitening stuff is available. I would suggest not buying it off of eBay. I would hate for you to purchase something that is not real. Um, you never know. You could be getting, like, crack in water. Um, to put on your teeth. So I'm just, you know, baking soda or something ridiculous to put on your teeth, something toxic even. Um, you never know. So basically all it is is a dental, it looks like a dental guard. I used to have a guard, but the guard was plastic. This is pliable, like a gel kind of that's in there. And you bite into it, it takes the form of your teeth, and then you put the gel in there and you put it back on your teeth and it, you know, leave it on for 15 minutes a day. Uh, and they told me it takes about 22 
15 minute sessions to achieve a whitening level that most consider to be the dental standard of white um, or you know your dental standard of white because everybody's teeth whiten differently and I only used it 11 times as of today. I used it the first week I got it five days in a row and then my teeth developed some sensitivity. Now sensitivity is normal. They told me that when they gave it to me. She basically said it's going to hurt you if you use it too often so maybe use it a couple days and then you know take a day or two off or however many you need to recover and then use it again and then you know take a day or two off. So I used it for five days straight. It made my teeth a little sensitive to cold and then you know just a little tingly so I laid off for like three or four days and then I use it two days in a row um, take a day off so now I'm up to three days in a row with a day off and it's working fine it my teeth have lightened considerably you can see that and my reasoning for whitening is just because I drink so much coffee tea and wine <laughs> so they're just surface stains um, but I do get self-conscious about it because I like to wear bright lipsticks and I think when you wear bright lipsticks you draw so much attention to your mouth your teeth are uh, a little bit more noticeable so anything that's yellow and then that's the other thing too is I like very blue based lipsticks but I also like a yellow tone lipstick in there somewhere and that's always the one that makes my teeth just look horrible so here's the bite and then the actual stuff is called teeth whitening gel dental professional strength 35% carbamide peroxide. So that's what it is. When I got it, it was at the 10 down here. And I mean, they told me to use a pea size on every tooth. Honestly, I think that's way too much. A pea size was like bubbling out of the tray. So I just do a real thin line across the whole thing and then pop it on and that's how I get this. But like I said, I would suggest getting it from your real dentist, your actual dentist, somebody you trust, um, because these do have expiration dates. So what you may purchase somewhere else may be expired. It may be a concoction of somebody, somebody's making, and you don't know. Like I said, it could be crack in water with you know baking soda or something. You don't know. So just get it from your dentist. So that's that's that. Okay. Next up, I'm on this like whitening string. My husband told me that. Anyway. Um, Skin Whitener, this is Dr. Fred Summit Skin Whitener Tone and Bleach Cream. It's got 2% hydroquinone or quinone. I don't know. I have been in and out of CVS's and Walgreens looking for that 2% hydroquinone cream and I can never ever find it. I look everywhere, I can never find it. Well, the other day, or not the other day, but a couple weeks ago, we were at Walmart and my husband was getting soap. And we're standing in the soap aisle and I'm like, seriously, you know, you're taking forever to pick some soap. You like Dove. There's four doves to choose from, grab one. So, I mean, he was just taking them forever. So I'm bored and I'm looking around and at the very end of the aisle, there's this ethnic hair care section and it's just, you know, it's African-American hair care. And they have all these, you know, brushes and little um, caps to put on your hair and like relaxers and setting sprays and just all these like things and um, hair oils, all kinds of stuff that's there. And I always, sometimes I look at the hair oils because they're so thick and so emollient that I think um, they're maybe a little bit better for your hair than some of the ones that you can get elsewhere like in the hair care aisle and mind you this is nowhere near the hair care aisle it's in the soap aisle where you would get bar soap liquid soap hand soap I mean it was crazy so I would never have gone there to find skin whitener and there it was there's like four different brands there's like Nady Nola and then another Another one I can't think of, the Dr. Fred Summit, and then there's another brand. And I just went with this one because it was like the first one I saw. I don't know. I don't know the name brands or anything. But they were all skin lighteners or whiteners or anything like that. And they have that 2% hydroquinone. So I grab it, and my husband's like, what do you need a skin whitener for? He's like, you're, you're like on this whitening streak. You don't need that. And I'm like, yeah, because that is why I put so much foundation on. I have these age spots that I just really want lightened. The other thing, too, I get on my elbows um, from doing preacher curls with weights, I get little dark spots. And then as well as my uh, knees, because I'm always on the floor with my kids or when I do my squats, not my squats, my lunges every now and then, I will go too far and um, bang my knee on the floor. You're not supposed to do that when you're doing a squat, but I do it sometimes. So I develop these little like dark patches on my knees. And this is that's what I wanted this for. And I've been using it for that it smells good. It does not smell bad or anything like that. Uh, my daughter actually loves the way it smells when I go to sleep because I, I put it on these little areas. I think it has lightened these areas on my face more than 
the Garnier that I have used for over a year, I mean, more than anything, I've tried, and I just really, really like it. It kind of softens your skin, too. So I've been using it on my elbows. I'm not too sure if they're lightening up. They are turning a little red, which is what it says on the insert, that it will turn a little red, and then it'll lighten up from there. So I don't know for sure, but I think it's working pretty great. It has lightened up my freckles to the point where I am comfortable with them. So... That is that, um, and like I said, it was in a completely different section that I had never ever even considered looking in or had gone to, it, like you would not go there to look for a skincare item because it was in the back of the soap aisle, it's just crazy, so that's where that was. Next um, eyeshadow palette that I've been in love with the entire month, the Urban Decay Naked Basics. I finally jumped on the Urban Decay bandwagon, of course I didn't buy the big long thing, I have a, I have a hatred of paper packaging, cardboard packaging. I like stuff that is, you know, that feels sturdy. And this is just that um, coated plastic, but it, I don't know, packaging makes a world of difference for me. And then the other thing is that thing is so bulky and huge. I can't, I, there's no way. So this is everything that I need to create an everyday basic, just neutral eye. And I love it. I think it's great for beginners, great for people who just love makeup in general. It's got your perfect highlight, which is a satin. It's what, the only shimmery one in the palette. This one has a little bit of shimmer, but it does not translate on the skin. These two, which are just all over basic, you know, eye, eyelid colors, they look like your skin. This one, which is a little pretty color for your inner corner, I mean your inner corner, your crease. This faint, faint for your inner corner, in here, that's what I have on, and then Crave, which is great for liner as well as your inner or outer corner down there. So, loving, loving that. You can wear them very, you know, lightly, just do two colors, like these two colors at once um, for everyday neutrals, beautiful, just to create a crease. Uh, or you could smoke them up and it looks gorgeous. So that for sure has been one of my favorites. The other thing is the Maybelline Eye Studio Gel. I know I've done this before in a favorites, but it's just black liquid eyeliner, or gel eyeliner, sorry. And I love, love, love that with the Coastal Scents Bent Liner Brush. You can find a bent liner brush pretty much in any range of brushes. This one is just the C217 Bent Liner. Looks like that. Um, but it just makes it so much easier to get into. You can use it pointed like this, and you're you know holding it away from your face, or you can use it flat, and it, it just helps me get into that tight space. So. Next would be my favorite blush of the month, and this month it has been so sweet, so easy. It's matte um, cream blush. Looks like that. It's just a beautiful pink. I have it on. It's very faint. I put it on right after I put my foundation on before I set it. I take my Real Techniques brush, and this is also one of my favorites, my um, stippling brush. Take that, dab it in there, and then just stipple it onto my face very lightly. It does not move my foundation around underneath that stipple it just stays in place and so that and then I set it with powder and it's there all day long and I absolutely love it it's not bright or loud or anything it's just a very faint flush love 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 that also um, Bear Steady's paint pot which you guys know is just a very light wash of kind of shimmer on your lids um, and then to remove makeup at night um, these Maybelline Clean Express makeup remover wipes are Fabulous. They're the best wipes I have ever used. And I'm not a big facial wipe person. I like to wash my makeup off in the shower, but every now and then I put my kids to bed before I take a shower. Um, and to put them to bed, sometimes I have to lay down. I read them a book. Sometimes I have to lay down with them until they fall asleep or they'll put me to sleep. Um, and I don't like to do that with a full face of makeup. So I'll run one of these over my face and it removes every last bit of makeup and it feels so wet. If, I don't know if you've ever used a wipe that makes your, it just feels dry. It feels like there's never, you know, you're never gonna get all your makeup off because it's so dry. This is so wet, to, honestly, until you stop using it. It just, every bit of makeup is off my face. It feels awesome. Um, and then, you know, I always get up and, and wash my face with my normal face wash, but that gets everything off. I mean, you can do a second one over your face and everything's removed, it's crazy. Uh, so that's that. Next would be my favorite nail polish. I have been doing a just simple pale nude nail polish look pretty much the entire month. I don't even, I haven't even grabbed anything else. I think I did this three weeks in a row, but it's the Deborah Lipman. It's called Sarah Smile. It's just a nude pink kind of cream color. So love, love, love that. Lastly, I will share this with you. Um, my daughter on Easter had like, I don't know if it was an eye infection or if it was pink eye, but it was just a very irritated eye. She may have, she said, 
she said she got poked in the eye, but she may have scratched it or something may have scratched it. She may have gotten something in it. I don't know. We don't know for sure. But on Easter, my mother-in-law told, told me when we were seeing them, um, of his eye is really red. What's wrong with her eye? And I thought, oh, you know, she's got allergies. She's been taking Claritin. She's probably just, you know, it's probably just allergies. Well, that night when I got home, she told me again, mom, my eye itches. It itches so bad. And I was like, well, don't, don't scratch it because I noticed then that she had little kind of like eye boogers. And I thought, great, because I've had pink eye before. It's no fun. I had it right after I had Eva. And it was, I, I thought my eyeball was going to fall out. I'm serious. I thought, I thought that was it for me. I was like, oh, it was the worst thing like ever. Um, and so I was like, hey, don't touch your eye. And I washed it out with Johnson's baby shampoo. Um, you can clean your eye with that. And then I started putting these drops in it. And I, this is what my eye doctor suggested to me when I had pink eye. Um, I called her, like it was a Saturday morning and I was freaking out about my eye. And I had, you know, Eva was like a newborn and she was packing to go out of town and she's like, oh my gosh, okay, go straight to this eye emergency place. We have like an eye emergency hospital in Houston. She's like, go to the eye emergency place. Uh, you know, the doctor's going the doctor will know you're coming. I'll call him and tell him and, you know, he'll look at your eye. And she thought I had like detached my cornea, like torn my cornea or pulled it off when I took my contact off or something. Cause you can actually tear your cornea off when you um, remove a contact that's over, overly dry in your eyeball. Well, she thought I had done something like that. I thought I had done something like that. So we were terrified. And we get there, the doctor's like, oh, you have pink eye. And I'm like, oh, he's like, well, there's really nothing we can do. It's got to kind of run its course. And, you know, you just don't touch anything. Don't, you know, share towels or anything. With it. It's very, very contagious. So I get home and she's like leaving on her trip. She was driving with her husband and her kids somewhere. And she's calling and she says, oh, my gosh, I thought you had really done some damage. She's like, just go get this some Mylosan stuff from CVS. She's like, it's the best thing for pink eye. It's what I give everyone. So that's what I did. And she told me to wash my eye with Johnson's. And that's, that's basically how I did it. And honestly, the first application, my eye was like instantaneously just better. It was just, you know, it got rid of the grittiness, the burning. So it's some Mylosan irritated eye relief. It used to be called pink eye relief, now it's just irritated eye relief, but it's pretty much the same thing. It's homeopathic, and you just put it in. It's for redness, watery discharge, burning, grittiness, dryness, and stinging. You put, you know, as many drops, I mean, you could use the whole freaking bottle on one eye, but usually it just takes one or two drops in the eye, and then, you know, you can use it in both eyes. You just can't touch the tip to your eyeball. You have to hold it from afar, and it's easier if somebody else does it for you, because, like, if I do my daughter's, I have to hold her eye, and then drop it in from high. So my husband, it's easier when he does it in my eyeball. But anytime we have anything, I mean, if I think for a second that I have pink eye, I run and I, you know, put this in there. My husband too has come home before and said, you know, my eyes feel gritty. They feel gross. And then he uses it and it's just better. So my daughter, what we thought was pink eye, she actually woke up with the crustiness around her eye. It was like matted clothes the next morning and we used it and, you know, she's fine. So she never really developed the pink eye or it was never all the way, but it just helps a lot. Um, anytime you have any form of, you know, eye irritation, um, but pink eye, it's kind of specifically made for that. So that is that on my face. I have the Urban Decay Naked eyeshadow palette and then the Maybelline gel. I also have the So Sweet So William, um, So Sweet So Easy. There is a Sweet William blush, but So Sweet So Easy cream blush on. And then on my lips, I've got the Bare Essentials or the Buxom Big and Healthy Lipstick. And this is Las Vegas, I think. Wow, there's no name on it anymore, but it's just Las Vegas. It's pretty much the color of my lips, but better. Um, I really like it. So that is that. Hope you guys had a wonderful weekend, and I will talk to y'all later. Bye-bye.